Imagine this, you're at the grocery store, Amex gold card in hand. You swipe to earn those sweet rewards points. Suddenly the cashier tells you the card isn't working. Okay, maybe it's a glitch. You call the number on the back, heart pounding a little. The customer service rep tells you about some changes to your card benefits. Changes? What changes? This isn't a nightmare scenario. It's the reality many Amex gold card holders are facing. The beloved card, known for its generous rewards program, has undergone some significant changes, leaving many cardholders feeling anxious and confused. These changes, often announced with little fanfare, can feel like a bait and switch. We sign up for a credit card based on its perks. When those perks disappear or shrink, it feels like a breach of trust. And when it involves our finances, that feeling is amplified tenfold. So, what exactly has changed with the Amex Gold Card? While the specifics might vary, common changes include things like increased annual fees, that yearly fee you pay for the privilege of using the card, it might have gone up, reduced rewards, points. Remember those juicy points you earned on dining and travel? Yeah, those might be less lucrative now. Changes to travel benefits, free airport lounge access, not so fast. Some of those travel perks might have been tweaked or removed. But why these changes? Credit card companies don't usually explain their motives. However, several factors could be at play. Economic uncertainty, inflation and rising interest rates make everyone nervous, including credit card companies. Competition. The credit card market is cutthroat. To stay ahead, companies constantly adjust their offerings. Shifting consumer behavior. Maybe people aren't traveling or dining out as much as they used to. Companies adapt their rewards programs accordingly. Whatever the reasons, these changes can throw a wrench in your financial plans. And that's where the real trouble begins. Let's talk psychology for a minute. Our brains hate uncertainty. We crave stability, especially when it comes to our money. So when a credit card company throws us a curveball, it triggers our fight or flight response. Suddenly we feel anxious. Will I be able to afford these new fees? Are my rewards points worthless now? Angry, why weren't we given more notice? This feels unfair. Powerless, what can I do about it? Am I stuck with these changes? These emotions are completely normal. But here's the thing, acting on these emotions without thinking things through can lead to poor financial decisions. We might make rash choices like cancelling cards out of spite or overspending to make up for lost rewards. Instead of panicking, take a deep breath. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the changes and their potential impact on your finances is the first step to regaining control. Many of us have a system for using credit cards to our advantage. We maximize rewards points, pay our balances in full each month and enjoy the perks. But sudden changes to a credit card's terms can disrupt that carefully crafted system. Here's how these changes might impact your everyday spending. Budgeting nightmares. Increased annual fees or changes to reward structures can mess with your budget, forcing you to reevaluate your spending habits. Reward point devaluation, that free flight you were saving for. It might suddenly require more points than you anticipated, loss of trust. This experience can leave a sour taste in your mouth, making you wary of credit card companies in general. The key is to adapt. Don't be afraid to negotiate with the credit card company. Call them up. You might be surprised what they're willing to offer to keep you as a customer. Explore other credit card options. The market is vast. There might be a card out there that better suits your needs now. Reevaluate your spending habits. This might be a good opportunity to assess your spending and see if there are areas where you can cut back. The Amex Gold Card changes highlight a larger issue in the credit card industry, a lack of transparency and predictability. When terms and conditions can change on a dime, it erodes trust and leaves consumers feeling vulnerable. This situation raises important questions. What responsibility do credit card companies have to their customers when making significant changes? Should there be more regulation to protect consumers from unexpected changes to credit card terms? How can consumers make informed decisions in a constantly shifting credit card landscape? The answers are complex, but one thing is clear. We as consumers need to be more vigilant than ever. We need to read the fine print, stay informed about changes to our cards and be prepared to adapt our financial strategies accordingly.
Have you been impacted by the Amex Gold Card changes or similar changes to other credit cards? How do you feel about the lack of transparency and predictability in the credit card industry? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about how to navigate these uncertain times and make sure our finances are protected.